I've never seen anything like this in my life, but certainly not at JSU. Now, I, I did see the tornado at Alabama, the University of Alabama, in Tuscaloosa in 2011 because my son was enrolled in law school at the time, but it was nothing like this. Right. It didn't hit the campus. Let's talk about the students. I mean, sure. Uh, academics, and thank goodness it was spring break. Thank you, goodness. You could have been really bad. I think that we all have a lot to be thankful for in that regard. I, you know, I, I like to think that we didn't lose a life because it was spring break. Um, you know, I don't know if that's true, but, but it certainly is a blessing that no lives were lost and very few injuries occurred. Let's talk about how JSU has responded. Uh, hmm. I mean, it's amazing all the things that happened so fast, just a week and one day later. A week and one day later, and, and I've been here the whole time. So the night that the tornado hit, um, uh, I was at home, and I live in the south part of town, so my home was not affected. But I knew that the university had a direct hit as soon as they were the reported it. And then the sirens started. Um, what, what I was most impressed about, I'm telling you, I have never seen a team come together and work together so effectively as this JSU team has come together and worked. David Thompson and his crew in Capitol Facilities and Physical Plant have been just amazing. And they immediately had in contractors who could help us with, uh, with some of the uh, really complicated work that had to be done and the cleanup. And it continues today, and the campus still isn't ready for its full enrollment of students or its full uh, number of employees to be on campus. It's just not ready yet, but it will be ready Monday, April the 9th. I'm convinced of that because of the hard work that's gone into getting it ready and getting it safe. There's been a lot of rumors out there and things online that, mm -hmm. you know, that the spring semester is not going to occur. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Not true. We're going to finish spring semester, and we're going to finish it successfully. Um, we have we have um, developed a number of options that can be used. We've decided to also use the the typical final uh, final exam week as the last week of classes, and faculty who need to give a final exam will give it during that class period, or if they they have projects or some other way of assessing student learning, then they can do that that week. That gives them a whole extra week to get the work done. Not just the faculty, but the students as well. Because many of our students have lost access to their computers and their classroom materials and things like that. Their course materials are still in the dormitory here on campus and they're not here. So, um, we have to be understanding of all those circumstances. Every single student has a circumstance. Every faculty has a circumstance. Every academic program has a unique circumstance. And all of that has to be taken into account as we complete the semester, but we will finish and we will finish strong. Let's talk about housing a little bit. All right. So many stories out there, especially the apartments off campus, I know. Some of those people are cleaning out their their apartment this morning. They're giving them two hours to get everything out, out. and then they can't come back in. I mean, that's devastating. It's, de it's a so devastating loss. We do. And I know that our university housing and residence life staff have already, yesterday, now today's number may be different. It probably is a little higher. But yesterday, they had over 200 students who had been displaced from some of those facilities to be in contact with our housing office and we are helping them find housing on campus. We're here to stay, right? We are here to stay. And I do believe, I, I, you know, I'm a social worker. That is my discipline. And I've worked crisis intervention all my life and I know about response and recovery and grief and loss. And I, I, I have... Have, I have nothing but respect 
and admiration for the staff that we have on JSU's campus who have just rolled up their sleeves and done what they needed to do to respond to the needs of the students and our employees. And, um, and I just feel that, that when we get past this semester that we want to complete you know, in the best way possible and have graduation at the time that we scheduled it on time, um, it won't be in the Coliseum, but it will be in the stadium. So we've got plenty of room there for everybody to attend. And that is, you know, that is our goal to get to that place. And I have no doubt that the people who've responded will be here throughout that process to help us get to that place. We have needs we don't even know about yet. You know, our students haven't come back to campus yet. So when I was talking with one of the emergency response workers yesterday, and she said, you know, this kind of emergency incident on your campus during spring break is different than any other because you have people here now, people who will come here later who, who haven't been through the process of seeing the damage, thinking about what to do with it, making the plans they need to make, getting the um, information they need to complete their courses. So we've still got some of that to go through. It's a, it's a phase-in kind of process, and that's very different. I'm Dr. Becky Turner, and I'm Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs at Jacksonville State University. We are JSU Strong. <laughs>